not the greatest game has ever been. But this has got a, a real zip about it. Yeah, both sides here looking to create opportunities. And because uh, they play each other a lot in pre-season friendlies and the like, this is a chance. Out to the left-hand side of the circle. Is this a shooting opportunity? That's been blocked really well by the goalkeeper. Yeah. Robert Turner in recently with them. Indeed, he has. Will break off as Brooklyn's break towards the boulevard end. It's come off a stick. That's been turned in, and that's the opening goal of the game. And it is Brooklyn's that have taken the lead. Well, I think, I mean, that finish was excellent. The ball bounced off a stick and was in the air, and the reverse very nicely um, to cut off any through ball passes, except that one. That's nice, and that's into the circle. Who's closest to it is a Brooklyn stick. It's a first penalty corner of the game for Beeston. Now, what happened there? It just seemed to be almost a nothing ball in towards the circle. Adam Dixon. But will it be the left-hand side of the circle or will it be more towards the right? It is Dixon and that's been blocked neatly on the line. It's still live from a beaten perspective and they have a free hit. And it's been upgraded corner, to a yes, penalty corner. Yeah. Well, I don't think the injection pace was quite... ...for Brooklyn to use Indeed. now. This is a golden opportunity for Beeston. injection. Dixon slips it and it's been oh. knocked away in front of the goalkeeper and it's been not wide and the umpire having a good think about yes. that one now was if it they don't get the restarts quick um brooklyn's will be in shape they reset their defense very quickly now this is a bit of an opening chance here play towards the left hand side of the circle that's a nice take on the baseline it popped up and then fired in towards the goal but it is a defensive hit for brooklyn's i think that was a little bit too or just Testing the umpire a little bit there, potential card for that kind of a tackle. Look how quick, here we go into the D. Oh, important touch, but that probably worked in the favour oh. of the attacking, se attacking team. Yeah, good build-up play from Brooklyn's quick. Play from Brooklyn's quick. Um, Houston have got that one sorted out there and away they come again. The pace Ooh. has gone up another notch and that's a no, That is a nasty tackle, I think that might well be a card. Andrew Rusbridge is the player who came in at the side against uh, Robbie Gleeson. I was uh, just looking down at the note. A play towards the goal, it's still live, and hits the outside of the netting. Yeah, intricate little move there, looking, uh, feigning for the reverse stick shot, leaving it for the open stick play for deflection, and uh, fortunately, Simon Hudjwan and um, left post defender were switched on to that. Yeah. Useful aerial, now there is a bit of space here. Things are starting to open up. It is Brooklyn's defence getting tired. That's got in front of the goalkeeper. That's, That's been played away in the penalty. Yeah. And that is the best time to do that as there is around about 40 seconds left of the Again, this organisation yeah. that Brooklyn's have had. I would suggest that there might be more joy around the right-hand side of the mm. circle if it could be moved toward, but we'll see how it goes. Played in this time, and that is yes, the equaliser right on the stroke of three-quarter time. And it's that man again. And interestingly, this time, Adam's been all the, the runners and the defence, so uh, my guess is they'll do the same again. Rob Turner in the goal. Griffiths with a trap, and that's a bit... Oh, it's a big appeal. And it's, what's the yeah, stroke it's is the stroke. outcome. Yes, it's Adam Dixon's skills there. He decided that he was going to dribble around the... That he could reach that ball, therefore he was behind the defender, and therefore it shouldn't have been a penalty. So Dixon versus Turner. Who's going to come out on top? It is Dixon and Beeston have taken the lead for the first time in the game. Well, interesting, isn't it? Because uh, what would you do without Adam Dixon at the moment? It's, um, he makes a big difference, creates as many chances as possible. That's working quite nicely down the Beeston yes. left. There's the shooting chance, powered in, and yes. that's the third for Beeston. How about that? That's Alex Bloomfield, he had the space on the turn, and he's gone into the centre at the heart of the D, which is the best shooting zone at the part of the D. To a complete stop. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> Hockey, you see something new every single game, and that's why we enjoy the sport. And this is a possible turnover here in a good position, and that will be play stopped here. A collision here. I think that might be Tom Lush who's gone down. Yeah, a bit of a coming together of the players. Uh, and we've got the information on the screen. The player of the match, and unsurprisingly, after putting two goals into the back of the net it is Adam Dixon who has been awarded player of the match and I think is that it we have come that to is, the end yes, of the game yeah. what an unusual end <laughs> to a <laughs> tournament